And you, Michelle Cinder, I want to ask you about Dr. Rick Bright, who was the lead scientist for years in charge of vaccines. And according to NBC and to others, this story was first broken by Maggie Haberman of the New York Times. Uh, Dr. Bright felt pressured to rush access to chloroquine, to the chloroquine treatment that the president and Fox News were pushing uh, until it was discovered in at least a, a VA test, one test, unpeer rev reviewed, but one test showing that there were some deadly uh, deadly incidents outweighing the risks, uh, rather outweighing the benefits. Um, I wanted to give you a quote from Dr. Wright's statement, Dr. Bright's statement. I believe this transfer, he was transferred out. Uh, I believe this transfer was in response to my insistence that the government invest the billions of dollars allocated by Congress to address the COVID-19 pandemic in safe and scientifically vetted solutions, not in drugs, vaccines, and other technologies that lack scientific merit. Um, this was an extraordinary conflict, which hasn't been resolved yet. That's right, Andrew. And this is a conflict that this is an extraordinary. This is an extraordinary conflict, and what you see is really the coming together of the president's <laughs> conflicts with his scientists. Um, encapsulated in this. Dr. Bright is now saying that he might actually file a whistleblower complaint. His lawyer said yesterday that his intent is to file a whistleblower complaint. And what you see there is this doctor, Dr. Bright, saying, I'm pushing for science to lead the way. I'm pushing for data to be how we deal with this coronavirus outbreak and how we treat people and vaccinate people. And he says as a result of that pushing, he was retaliated against and removed from that post and moved to another post that Dr. Fauci says is going to be about diagnostics. What we see here is the president's um, conflict with his scientists really coming to a head in Dr. Bright. But you see just yesterday, as you played, the president has contradicted his scientists over and over again. And he's doing this, he says, because one, he has a political instinct. He thinks that he knows what's best for the country. He says that's why he was elected. And two, the president is eager to get back to normal because he understands that his re-election campaign and the political season is underway and that in order to remain in the White House, people need to feel a sense of normalcy, he thinks, as well as the economy to bounce back. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.